This is a Navigating HF, HFU for Parents presentation. At any point during this video, you may pause, rewind, or fast forward at your convenience. Welcome to HFU Introduction and Basics, and let's get started. Grade point average is an important part of high school. In order to get into colleges and universities, you want to make sure that your student has as high of GPA as possible. Here are some statistics about high school graduates who were accepted into four-year colleges and universities. The overall GPA, the average of the students who went on to four-year colleges and universities, had an average GPA of a 2.886. And almost 70% of the students who were accepted into four-year colleges and universities had a GPA between a 2.31 and a 3.462. And it's really important at the high school level to have a high of GPA as possible so that they increase their chances of being accepted into the college or university that they would like to get into. One basic here at HF is that we encourage participation in at least one school activity at least three hours per week. This helps the student feel connected to HF and have some incentive to keep their grade point up. Another way that HF can help out your student is through the PSAE Viking Test Prep. It's a relatively low-cost resource with great returns on that investment. And the data we're going to go over indicates that it does work. Here's the data from the 2010 PSE test prep here at HF. All of the black bars indicate their pretest score. When entering into the course, they take a pretest. And then at the end of their junior year in April, when they take the PSAE, their post score, or their PSAE score, is listed in red. And what you can see is, especially on the composite, where that's what colleges and universities will take a look at as the composite, that on average, the average student in the course gained 2.4 points on their composite ACT score. So that difference was, coming into the course, they were averaging 19.9 on the ACT, and when they left the course and took the PSAE, they received a score of a 22.3. This is a little different look at the same data. This data breaks down their pretest and their PSAE ACT score based on where they were coming into the course. So there's a composite low score, which for students coming in with lower scores than average, they came in with a 15.4 and left, and when they took the actual ACT, they gained three points. Those students who were right around the middle, or the average, coming in, averaged a 19.9 coming in, and left with a 21.8 for a gain of 1.9 points on their composite ATC, ACT score. The composite high group, the group that came in with a relatively high score, averaged a 26.9 coming in to the prep course, and then when they took the, the ACT, their scores jumped 2.3 points. Thank you for watching, and we hope this presentation was helpful.